a day in London. Bum 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 bum. Hey guys, it's Book Watcher again. Today I'll introduce, I'll, I'll read you this book, A Day in London, Oxford Reading Tree. Let's go. Gran came to stay. The children ran to meet her. Hooray! Said Gibber. I love it when Gran comes to stay. He she's good fun. <laughs> Gran bought presents for everyone. She gave Mum and Dad an ornament. Kipper had some little golf clubs, and Biff and Chip had a keyboard. Thanks, Gran," said everyone. "Deal." I've ha- I have another surprise for you," said Gran. She gave the children some funny-looking parcels. "What are they?" asked Kipper. "Boomerangs," said Gran. The children wanted to see how the boomerangs worked. Gran took them outside. She she threw a boomerang and it whizzed through the air. The guard shouted, "Gran!" Zzz. Kipper wanted to play with the golf clubs. Gran showed them what to do. She hit the ball, but she she hit it too hard and it smashed a window. Oh dear! Said Gran. Next next day, Wolf, Wilma, Nadim, and Anina came to play. Biff and Chip showed them the keyboard. Gran had a good idea. Let's have a band. The man, the band made a lot of noise, and the children had a good time. Whatever will Gran do next? Said Dad. She's worse than the children. Said Mum. Gran has promised to take the children on an outing. She said that Nadine and Nina could go too. I'll take you all to London. Look after Gran," said Mum as they got into the car. "Try and stop her getting into trouble. We'll do our best," said Biff. "But it won't be easy." When they got to London, Gran parked the car. "Now we'll take the tube," said Gran. "It's the best way to get around." There were lots of people waiting on the platform. When the train came, came in. Everyone rushed to get on. Now I know why it's called tube," said Anina. "Everyone gets squeezed." They went to Trafalgar Square. On top of the column was a statue of Nelson. I wouldn't like to be up there," said Biff. "I don't like heights." There were lots of pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Gran brought some nuts. The children fed the pigeons. Oh help! Said Adam. I didn't know that pigeons were so greedy. They went to Buckingham Palace. This is where the Queen lives. Said Gran. It's enormous. Said Anina. The queen must be busy with all those rooms to clean. A big car drove past, and everyone cheered and waved. The children couldn't see who was inside the car. Perhaps it's the queen," said Biff. Gran took them on a boat. They went under Tower Bridge. The children were excited because the bridge began to open. It began to rain and the wind blew. Everyone felt cold. Never mind," said Gran. "We'll think of somewhere warm to go next." They went to the waxworks. What is a waxworks? asked Kipper as they went in. 
It has wax models of famous people," said Anina. They looked at the models. "Don't they look funny?" said Kipper. "You can tell they are models and not real people," said Anina. "Who are these people?" asked Kipper. "That is Queen Victoria," said Gran, "and some of her grandchildren." She had lots of grandchildren," said Madame. "Queen Victoria looks very fierce," said Biff. "I bet she wasn't like you, Gran." "Well, I wouldn't like to be a queen," said Gran. "It must be a hard job." They looked at a street scene. "This is what London was like a long time ago," said Gran. A lot of people were very poor. Poor children didn't go to school in those days. They had to work instead," said Gran. "That boy carrying brushes is a sweep. His job was to climb up chimneys and brush soot down." Gran went off to look at the royal family while the children stayed at the street scene. Do you think Gran should go off by herself? said Biff. She can't do much harm in here. Gran dropped her handbag, and some money rolled among the models. Gran went to pick it up. As she bent down, she knocked into the waxworks, and they began to fall over. Gran picked the models up and put the heads back on. The children couldn't believe it. Gran, what are you doing? said Biff. Just don't, don't just stand there, said Gran. Help me pick the models up before anyone sees. Oh, Gran said Biff. I let you out of my sight for a second, and this happens. Dun 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 dun. dun. They pick the models up and put the heads back on. They look strange," said Anina. "I don't think the heads are right." "Oh no," said Gran. Dun dun. A lady ran up. She was very cross with Gran. I can't think how you knocked the models over in the first place," she said. "It's never happened before. I'm very sorry." I don't know," said Biff. "I don't think they will let Gran and the Waxworks again." "Never mind," said Chip. "Gran didn't mean to knock them over." Thank you for a great day out," said Nadim. "We had never been to London before. I like to ride on the boat best," said Kipper, "even if it was cold." "I like everything," said Anina. "Oh, at last," said Gran. "We can tell Mom some of our adventures, but not all of them, and not the one about beheading the Queen." A day in London. When Gran takes the children on a visit to London, things don't go quite as Gran planned. Doom doom.